good that you remind people, you know, it's not about um, having your images in L. You know, from the beginning, it's about the before and afters of your clients. It's about building your portfolio and realizing that, you know, you may not be someone that has a professional photographer at the ready, but you do have a camera yeah. and you can start somewhere and collecting those images and learning from them. Well, you could do a lot. I mean, you know, the thing is, is with today's technology and everything, and you know, these cameras just get cheap and cheap. You can get a great camera now for five hundred dollars or you know less, and what it will do is it will give you such great resolution. Now, are you going to be a budding photographer? Who knows? You know, you might be starting up something you didn't think you had inside you. But the point being is, is that once you grab a camera and then you start, you know, shooting things of your clients or making an interactive thing in your salon, and you know, if you see something incredible that somebody's done wow, that's a great haircut, you know, maybe we could do that and turn it into a, a, something that we could add into um, a photo shoot or a collection that we're going to do. A camera's like a, a tool that should always be around everywhere. You've got to be, if, you know, those moments that they used to call a Kodak moment, if you don't have your camera, then you've lost it. But um, mm -hmm. I think the thing is, is absolutely, when you Google, Google makeup agencies or makeup schools or I'm looking for a makeup artist in wherever area you are. And you've only got to look for one, and the same with the photographer. Stylists tend to be a little bit more complicated because, um, not complicated, a little bit more um, harder to get because basically um, you will often find that most stylists will be working in a, a bigger, more metropolitan city because they need to have access to major fashion designers and what have you. But why don't you think about approaching your local fashion shop or your local boutique and partner up with them and ask them if you could, you know, loan the clothes. In, in exchange for you know maybe some prints for the window of their shop showing that their clothes being modeled by one of your models so you know take a picture of you know models that you think would be good for um, a collection that you're going to have and then evaluate which one's going to be good for you remember that everybody's going to need a little bit of Photoshop yeah remember that you know they may not have a clear com complexion so just because they've got a spot or two I wouldn't discount that away remember that everybody gets spots even those supermodels I've seen them that you can take away with Photoshop so have that and keep in mind and it doesn't matter what level you're at start the process little steps are better leading you to your end final desired results so you know I've been doing this many years the only difference between what I'm doing now versus what I did when I started I just had better tools. The model is maybe more experienced, the photographer, the makeup artist, and so forth. And with that experience as a team, it tends to reflect in the pictures, that's all. If I looked at my pictures from 25 years ago, they were just a little rough around the edges. But all of the intentions and the energy was there. It's just that maybe the tools weren't quite the right thing. But um, whether it is, forget the budget and forget the money thing. I think you can do things very, very cheaply and with a minimum budget and still have all our results. A lot of my friends I work together with on shoots and uh, help them do things. And, um, and we've done it for literally very little money. And you can get great results from it. Money's not everything. You can hire somebody and you can have the great team. But if it isn't there, the soul's not there and the idea is not there, then sometimes it doesn't work. Well, that relates to, if you if you don't mind, just one more question for you. And a, I, a couple of people have brought this through in the chat. The last person, I think, was Joe in Manhattan asked, um, I guess there's a rumor that you do some photography yourself. So these days, do you ever do your own photo shoots or do you work with others? Well, I, I, I don't know where the rumor comes from, but anyway. But yes, I have done, I have done a few um, within my time. I mean, what I've been doing is it's, it's a hobby. So I kind of, you know, with all my experience of being in a studio for X amount of years, um, there are certain, you know, just like hair color or hair cutting, there are certain fundamental foundational way what um, uh, things that you need to, to cut and color and, and what you have to do with your hair. The same with photography. So um, I've got my, I bought a camera and I, am, I have done a few shoots. I did one um, with uh, Chad Taylor, who's Canadian hairdresser of the year and I did a shoot with him. So I'm starting to um, get into it. Um, I'm not going to be a budding professional photographer. It's not my desire. But I find it interesting because um, I'm on the other side of the thing, and I'm, I get very into it. I love to see beautiful imagery. So yes, she's right. I am doing a little bit of my own. <laughs> oh, exciting. Wonderful. Fantastic. Well, we are getting towards the end of our webinar here, so um, I want to officially close by thanking Damien and providing more information about PBA's ISSC shows. So I'm going to start with the ISSC information. As I mentioned at the outset of our webinar today, our Long Beach show will be held the last weekend in California, or excuse me, last weekend in January in California. Our Midwest event is the last weekend in March, and that's in the Chicago area, actually in Rosemont. 
Um, everyone should see the web address on their computer screen right now for purchasing tickets. If I did this right, you might actually be able to click on that and link to purchase show tickets. If the link isn't functional, please write that web address down. From there, you can both purchase tickets and view our educational lineup. So that is at probeauty.org forward slash ISSE. All the education has been determined for Long Beach, and there's a phenomenal mix of complimentary hair classes, nail classes, business education, technical theater performances, hands-on classes, and of course, an international fashion theater. And Damien will be our international fashion theater MC at both shows. So if you can't get enough of Damien and you want to continue to experience his knowledge and his energy, count on seeing him there. Many of the international fashion theater presentations are free with your ticket purchase and feature the most talented platform stylists. Our next Meet the Educator webinar is in two weeks and will feature Ivan Zoot of and his company. Please watch your emails for more information on his presentation. It's going to be fantastic and includes opportunities to win and his company tools. And speaking of free things, everyone on this call today has the potential to win a copy of this awesome book, 50 Hairstylists by Rick Morton. And we'll be doing a drawing today. Five of you on this call, on this webinar, will get the book. It contains interviews with 50 of the most influential and successful hairstylists, including Kim Vo, Beth Minardi, Martin Parsons, and of course, Damien Carney. So Damien, thank you so much for joining us. I learned a lot today. I was totally engaged with your presentation. And I look forward to working together again at Long Beach. Oh, well, thank you. And thank you, everybody, for uh, spending time with us. We do appreciate it. And uh, don't forget, send me an email or anything. Any, I do answer all my own emails. Anything I can do to help or advise, please do. And uh, thank you for being so wonderful. Enjoy the rest of your day. Awesome. Well, this officially concludes our webinar. Thank you all for joining us. We will see you in Long Beach. Bye, Damien. Thank you. Bye-bye.